I know people are biased about names. Let me ask you a question, especially with our cultural bias. Did Bro Judas come to church today? Bro Judas, is he here? Okay, if you are planning to call your next child Judas, raise your hand. What did Judas do? The name Judas. It is because somebody answered that name and betrayed Jesus. So even Judas, even if Judas is an angel, you don't want to hear about Judas again. Other children grow up and begin to hate mathematics and physics. How can a child, you don't want to see, hear about mathematics, yet you want to be engineer. You want to be a doctor. It's not possible. Let me tell you, one of your obstacles is that you hate what you should like. Change your mentality. There's no way you can be an engineer. An engineer with your hatred for mathematics and physics. There's no way. Today, change your mentality. Begin to embrace those things that you hated as a result of mental bias. Some, some people will even go ahead and hate both mathematics and teacher. They say, teacher, I wish you taught other courses. But because you're a mathematics teacher, both yourself and the course you teach, we declare compound hatred on you. I bless God for the name of church. If every church were to be assemblies of God, there are people who would decide to go to hell. If every church were to answer deeper life, there are people who would decide to go to hell. If every church were to answer CPM, Christian Pentecostal mission, there are people who would say we won't be there. If every church were to be Anglican, we have a teeming population that will decide to be churchless. If every church were to be Catholic, Roman Catholic, many will say we won't go to church. That is the goodness, the beauty of the diversities of nomenclature. As far as church is concerned. So what am I saying? Nobody should be biased. If you want God to move. If you want God to move in our generation, don't localize God to a particular church. God is not a local champion. God can raise anybody from anywhere to accomplish any purpose to the glory of his holiness. You must come out of that bias. And there are people let me say this. Some people, when they see somebody with jewelry, they cannot believe in their heart that God can pass through any person who has a jewel. To them, they are agents of Satan. Hear me today. Hold your bias. But don't sit in the seat of God. Other people are biased. I've seen a woman on the altar. And they're suffering. There's a disease called carryover disease. They carry it over. They are biased in the spiritist churches. Moved over to Pentecostalism. And there was substandard combination of pentecost spiritism <laughs> and then it landed into another dangerous thing now hear me give room for the holy spirit don't stop the holy spirit you know there are people to them they were taught two taught that a woman cannot pray that a woman so to them even if the woman is releasing fire and anointing 
they tune the person off and they become an obstacle may i tell somebody god will not pass through a vessel you don't believe in to work out a miracle in your life if you don't believe in a pastor don't expect miracle through that pastor if you don't believe in the anointing in the man of god so every obstacle that have been hindering you from obtaining what god has packaged they shall be dismantled they shall be dismantled god will open your eyes to begin to see to understand others they come up from family background and you must make up your mind you must speak it out where i am coming from won't stop me it didn't stop abraham abraham was born from beyond the river abraham was the son of an idol worshiper yet yet i even guess let me go extra by saying i think abraham was dedicated to an idol when he was born but he didn't stop him jephthah was the son of a prostitute yet he didn't stop him he still became a judge look at a man called obededom of god a man with three ugly names obededom of god obey the slave Adam, descendants of Esau. Gath, the village of Goliath. But when the ark entered, hey, ark signifies the presence of God. Presence of God will not mind the name of the village. Presence of God will not mind how you were born. Presence of God, I tell you today, where you were dedicated is not your problem. But you won't continue to be dedicated to that idol. I heard the word of God say something. If anybody be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Welcome to the family of God. You can sing a new song. You can dance a new tune. You can move on a new level. You can do something great. All depths are settled concerning your life. I have warned Satan and I keep warning him. Devil, hear me clearly. You are wasting your time reminding me of my past life. You are wasting your time reminding me of my terrible background. Satan, I'm warning you publicly again, even here. Any day you remind me of my past life again, I will remind you of your future. I will remind you of your future. I am Shanda. Because something happened. When I surrendered my life to Jesus, he dealt with my past life. The blood of Jesus is efficacious. Nobody jumped down from heaven a saint. We were rotten, wretched, and miserable. We were terrible, living on number seven Hell Street, condemned for destruction. But one day, one day, if you don't have one day in your life, you are a waste in the church. If you don't have one day in your life, you are not yet born again. If you don't have one day in your life, you are a cheat, a deceiver. If you don't have one day in your life, you are not a Christian. One day, one day, somebody must have one day. The day of realization. A day of great decision. A day when I had the word of God and I came to the altar. A day when I saw myself living on number seven hell streets. A day when I saw myself condemned for destruction. But I said, Jesus, you will get your code that you are. I'm an he will get your code that you are. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost. Hold it. I once was lost. I once was lost. I once was lost. I once was lost. Can anybody in this church say I was, was lost?
Can anybody sing in the choir and say, I was, was lost? Can any pastor hear in my voice say, I was, was lost? Can anybody in the congregation say, I was, was lost? Do you have an ugly past? And I tell you today, if you have no past tense in your life, if you cannot say, I was, but now I am, you are not born again. If you cannot say, I used to do this, I was a criminal, I was a prostitute, I was an occultic man, but since Jesus came into my life, since Jesus came into my soul, what are you doing here? It has no past tense in your life. Why are you wasting your money in the church? If you have not met with the Lord of the church. Donation cannot bring salvation. Laburi keki mahaya. Sowing seed faith. Without salvation first. It's a wasteful venture. Hear me today. The world is passing away. And he is fullness. The voice of salvation is coming to you today the voice of salvation is coming to you today today he said you can change your lifestyle i can't stop because i was born in a witch community a voice is about singing out of the witch community. And I am the person. Were well, you born in a occultic family? Hey! You are the voice that will rise out of the occultic family. In every kindred, God has a name. In every village, God has a witness. This is a fellowship of witnesses from terrible families. A fellowship of witnesses. Don't begin to cry here and tell me how terrible your own is. If I tell you my own, you will cry double. Let's forget what has happened has happened. No tears will make it we amend the past. No tears. If you kill yourself, you will not amend it. History will not be written that you were, you were born in that family. History will not be rewritten that you came from that community. It is gone. It is past. It is history. No wonder the Bible said in the days of ignorance. God. But now. Somebody say but now. Somebody shout but now. Somebody shout but now. Is there anybody living cheated? Is there anybody in the domain of self-pity? May you be delivered. I said something the other day. You were not born with poverty attached to your, to your mentality. You won't die in your current situation. My God. I invoke the presence of the God of the open doors upon your life. In that bunker where men kept you. In that particular place. That basket where you were covered. Oh may God open your eyes. I see a mighty hand coming. I see a great hand coming upon you. Lifting up that particular thing. And I tell you. Color is not your obstacle. What a white man can do. An African man can also do it. With due respect to the exposure of our pastor here, from time to time, who even bring people from the Western world to come and speak here? It will be a mark of spiritual kindergartenhood for anybody here to begin to think that when the white people come on the altar, that they carry different anointing from black people it will be a mark of spiritual kindergartenhood 
Anointing is anointing. Whether on a white man or on a black man. Sometimes the difference is that they have technology contagious. If I were to be a white man preaching now, maybe messages, everything I said before, you know, things like that. But we are getting there. We are getting there by the grace of God. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Don't hate your color. Mm, you are beautiful. I said, don't hate your color. You can rise. Hey, have you not had Africans who went to America and toppled them in academic pursuit? Have you not heard about that? Have you not heard about that? Can't a scientist arise out of Abba? Can't you be a scientist? Has discoveries finished? Oh my God. You can reach the height. Do like this and break every obstacle. Can you, can you do like this today? Break every obstacle on your way. Everything that has blown your eyes. Everything. Everything that has blown your eyes. It's a time. It's a time for you to move forward. It's a time for you to get to the position. And I tell you today, don't allow knowledge of somebody's past to be an obstacle to you. What you know about somebody can hinder you from receiving from God through him. How many seconds does repentance take? You do not know. Somebody's prophesying. Instead of listening to the prophecy, you are thinking of what you used to know about him 15 years ago. You will go out dry. Oh. God is doing new things. Doing something great. And don't begin to look at everything in terms of monetary value. It can be an obstacle to you. Everything is not money. One day I traveled to Alabama. And um, with and the people I went to visit announced to their family members, it was a white community, that a Nigerian is coming. And everybody gathered. They cooked, prepared meal. Everybody gathered. And you know, whatever the gathering is, my mind was somewhere. You know, a typical person thinks that when you travel to US or UK, there's a tree that grows dollar by every strength. Not even knowing that some of them can give you a check of five dollars, ten dollars. The church here appear to be more liberal. What am I talking about? And so when they gathered, they packaged something in a, a bag. I was happy me. Do you know their culture? Here, if we give you a package, you carry it home. But that's not the Western culture. Western culture, you will open it before them. So that they will know what I've been giving to you and what you think about. Brethren, that well advertised visit and well attended meeting, when I opened the bag, I saw flour. I saw sweet. Sweet and flour. What do you think about that? To them, they've done a wonderful thing. They've done great things to welcome me. But to a typical from our background. Now, let me ask you, what were you expecting to be in that bar? What were you expecting? <laughs> Naturally, you will expect what are there? Dollar. Now, I'm saying this to say, everything must not be monetary. You may serve. A man of God may shake hands with you and say, God bless you. Are you getting what I'm saying? You may do a service and the man of God can gather you and pray for you. Let me tell you. Do you have a talent? I've discovered that some people in the church lately want to be paid even for the use of their talent in the church. Hmm. Well, let me say this as advisory. You better tell 
hear the man of God pray for me, don't reward with, with, with money. Because that money could be an obstacle to greater thing that is to come. Is somebody hearing me now? You can use your talent and say, Daddy, pray for me. This is my own donation. You can donate your service. You can donate your gift. You can donate. But when you come on that many three times, and I even said this even to pastors and leaders and bishops, which myself, I am one of them. Don't judge the success of a pastor in a station, in a church, by the amount of money he makes at the end of the month. A church cannot grow above the community in which the church is cited. In which the church is cited. There are still people who labor, but as a result of accident of geography, they don't have enough monetary thing to show forth for it. Everything is not money. Let me digress and say something to you. Don't tell God, except this a man, a millionaire, won't marry. You may have a millionaire, but no peace in the family. Is somebody hearing me now? It's not about money. I just remember that we have marriage today. I just saw some people put it on white. You know. Let me say this because I wonder if my beloved will preach another someone for marriage. Eh? No, that's someone. My brother, my sister, the person by your side is not an angel. No, that is not to cancel your plan to call her angel. That's not what I'm, I'm not saying. You know. Like I said the other day, these names are just to, to make somebody feel happy and okay. But it's not an angel. I think by this year, I shall qualify to be a married counselor. I shall qualify because by August, I will be 25 in marriage. So I will now qualify. They are the only people who qualify as married counselors. But in my pre qualification address, may I succinctly declare to you it's not an angel. Get ready to be offended. Sister, get ready to be offended. And pack, develop a bank for forgiveness with which you will carry in advance. Huh? Oh, they are pastors. Wow. You are the next gospel they want to re read. They've read John, Luke, Mark, Matthew. You are the next gospel. Then let me say this also to you. If you want to live in peace, and to every family here, go home and buy a fairly sized cemetery. Everybody go and buy a fairly sized cemetery. Where you bury the offenses of your partner. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to ask you a question. Long, li listen to me now. Now listen. Uh, not even marriage. Come sir. This man does which you don't like. <laughs> now, I want to listen. Let's remember, I'm still preaching. Are there things this man of God does which you don't like? Yes. What? Yes. Okay, sir. Are there things these sheep? Are there things they do which you don't like? Plenty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I want to say this to you today. You see, 
We run into trouble when you are on, when you are not expecting offenses. You are living in the moon. It becomes an obstacle to you. You refuse to live in the world of reality. There are things pastors do which members do not like. There are things members do which pastors do. But the secret of relationship buying a fairly sized cemetery where you will bury the offenses of one another. If you hear people marching, ah, as sweet and beautiful as mommy and daddy is, you want to say mommy doesn't offend daddy? <laughs> I'm like, what? No, not at all. But the secret is this. The bedroom is the highest court. Anything you cannot handle in the bedroom. Oh, Allah, Arapurahia. Arapurahia, we can go to. According to Igbo people, before the power of deliverance came. <laughs> what am I saying today? You must live a happy life. Somebody must live a happy life. You must go ahead with life. Because you can be what God says you're going to be. You can reach where God says you're going to reach. You can accomplish what God says you are going to accomplish. Any obstacle that will cause you to be unhappy. We dismantle them in the name of Jesus Christ. We dismantle them in the name of Jesus. For your own sake, forgive. Not even for his own sake. You may see somebody, your heart will do because you have altar against the person. Lay it on the altar. Be free. Every person with the spirit of unforgiveness is living in bondage. You are living in bondage. If you see the person, you are not happy. If you walk, if he's preaching, you will keep holding yourself like this until you squeeze your heart to beat you out. Be released. I release you. I release you. I release you and I release you. I release you today. If you are not careful, power can be an obstacle. You can come to a position, you can be mad with that position that you begin to kill people indiscriminately. Look at what happened in some African leaders. Power can be an obstacle. You remember when somebody in Nigeria started killing everybody that once had a, 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 a an intention to contest love can be an obstacle anger can also be your love may, may cause you to do inordinate things if you are not careful love for somebody may cause you to say he is right when he is wrong love therefore there's a, a junction where love and justice should meet that pastor loves you doesn't mean he wouldn't discipline you now are you right to hate him for disciplining you are you right to say he doesn't love me because he disciplined me whom the lord loves he chastises whom the pastor loves he chastises with discipline Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I refuse to hear any other explanation except what the mic said. And the mic had just said, Remember what you said the other day. And the mic, remember there is also a wedding. The mic has also said, No, the author. Ya Allah, that's what the mic is saying. Hear me today. 
you can obstacle, you can overcome the the obstacle. Change your mentality. Believe what God has said. May your eyes be open. Look ahead. Possibilities. Look ahead. You can reach there. Look ahead. You can be the best. Look ahead. This can be the best church in Abba. Look ahead. Let me talk to parents. Stop looking at what your child is and begin to look at what your child can be. We have initial foolishness of children. Don't lose hope because train up a child in the way he should be. When he is old, not depart from him. Remove your eyes. From what your business is now to what your business can be. Don't conclude because of what you're seeing now. Ah, what you're seeing now is not what your business can be. What your business is now, what your family is now, what your church is now, what your family is now is different from what it can be. I am tired of what it is now. I am not satisfied with what it is now. I look ahead. Ahead, ahead. What I can be. What my church can be. What my children can be. What my ministry can be. What my tomorrow can be. In the light of the word of God. Anchor your faith on that. He will not fail you this day. Bow your heads in prayer. I want to pray for somebody who wants to receive Jesus as his Lord and personal Savior this day. You want to surrender your life. You want your name cancelled in the book of death and written in the Lamb's book of life. You want to be able to proclaim one day what happened in your life one day. Raise your hand. I want to pray with you today. You are so blessed to be in this place. Where sins are forgiven. Where judgments are cancelled. Where favor is rubbed upon you. If you want to surrender your life to Jesus. Raise your hand. Let me pray with you today. God bless you for raising your hand. Can you stand to your feet? Just stand where you are. Thank you for standing. God bless you. I love you for what you have done. Can you make a step out? Leave your seat and come out to this place. We want to pray for you. That you might be what God says you are going to be. This is the genesis of becoming that which the Lord wants you to be. That you surrender your life fully to Jesus. If you are coming, you come. I will soon end this prayer. If you want to give your life. Oh, that day. I remember that day. I will never forget that day. When Jesus washed my sin away. When Jesus washed my sin. He paid a debt he did not owe. I owed a debt I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. Now I can see a bright new sun, amazing grace. Lord Jesus paid the debt 
right good name. Can you bless your hands on your heart? Invite Jesus into your heart. Ask him to forgive you and cleanse you and cancel your name in the book of death. Write your name in the book of life. Tell him I'm sorry. Let that one day come into my life. Let that one day, that one day be a reality in me. Let that one day, one day. Can you repeat this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, thank you for your word. I've heard your word. I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. Give me the power to become your child. Surrender myself to you. I promise you, I will not go back again. I will live for you from this day. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Our Father, look at these people. Bless your hands on your head. Lord, I pray that what you did in our lives, do it in their lives. Cancel their names in the book of death. Write their names in the book of life. Let a new chapter be opened in the history of it. Give them peace and joy to the glory of your holy name. In the name of Jesus. As you are here, let everybody stand to his or her feet now. Can you place your hands on your head? Your problem has been what you have been thinking about yourself. Elisha prayed open his eyes that he may see wow what you saw in the past didn't bring joy to you what you saw around you brought discouragement what you saw around you made you cry because you were seen from Satan's perspective Ask him this day. May I see what you're seeing about my future. May I see that I have an advantage. That those who are with us are greater than them. If there have been any bias in me about where I was born, about my village, my name, my height, my size, my church. God change that mentality that I may begin to see that something good can come out of Nazareth that I am an answer to that great question open your mouth and talk to God let me see what you want me to see let me position myself for success position myself for victory position myself to move to highs i have never moved to no matter the obstacles that i see by my side i see by my way i can reach the tops i can reach the high I can't reach the heart. Oh, you want to make me the tall tree from my family, the tall tree from my village. My generation will hear my voice. My generation will hear my voice. Because you've loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Even God, I call. Leburi Musamba Kara Musaya Labaka. Glory, hallelujah. We give you the glory, we give you the praise. In the name of Jesus. Can you place your two hands on your eyes? Father, I don't know what these eyes have been seeing before now. They see economic depression. Invasion of Boko Haram. Terror. Fears of aircraft. 
business stagnation. They see these things. And it's been raising ugly questions. Can I really be what was prophesied? Father, we didn't gather unto an idol. We gathered unto he that is older than age. The ancient of day. We gathered unto the unstoppable stopper. Papa, can these things stop you? Can they? Can they? It's our tomorrow based on Nigerian economy. I pray, Lord, joining my heart with that of your servant on the platform here and other servants of God on this place. That these eyes, these eyes that have been touched now as points of contact, Father, let these eyes be open. May we begin to see what you are seeing. May we begin to see what you are seeing. May we not be distracted by public opinion. May we not be distracted by what CNN carries. Public opinion. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I love we look beyond what we are seeing and we proclaim we know that our redeemer lives and we shall get to where he says our year of champions no champion without challenge father by anointing your servant road i am destined to be on the top no matter where I'm coming from, no matter where I was born, I am destined to be on the top. No matter the name of my village, I am destined to be on the top. No matter the man I married, I am destined to be on the top. May this prophetic utterance be fulfilled in this place. May you cause every member to imbibe this positive philosophy to the glory of your holiness. I proclaim upon them the other half of the year shall be multiple testimonies. We must celebrate this year. There must be a gathering of the champions at the end of the year to say and proclaim and testify of what you have done. Be thou glorified. Release your unction upon your people. In the name of Jesus. Mamaya Kochi Rapochi, Ove Mutula, Ama Mama Samasio, Ezu, Inona Jerusalem, and Kuoku, Abiara Mesu, and Imen, Tukuamani Debu.